What's up guys, this is the Brothman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total Let's Play as the United Provinces. So to round off where we left off, we had a really close run thing with the forces in South America and I am a, a bit concerned about what I may intend to do. And I don't really want to do... I have to merge my pikes together I suppose to keep them as a solid block. Um, I'm a bit... They are a bit exposed. I wonder if it's possible. Forward. March. Forward. Oh, we don't have a navy down here, that's a shame. But I do have this sloop. So I think I'm gonna use this sloop. Ships orders. Gather more forces. Then get them back Underway. into the capital. Ready and waiting. Ready and waiting for so at the very least we can hope we can maybe scare them off somewhat. It does leave this area a bit exposed but we'll recruit a sloop during the next turn. So let's have a look to make sure there's nothing else we can build. Sir. This army is getting its artillery. It's getting its artillery into position. I know it's Buccaneers to garrison the port isn't it? Uh, let's get this sloop down here. Maybe not this turn, but maybe next turn. Bring them back up to our main area to then recruit. To recruit some more troops to make them a full strength army. I don't think they'll get there in this turn. They will. Fascinating. So we'll get our full strength army out of Cuba, back up to uh, mainland 13 colonies, and then we'll build them up and then we'll send them over. Ooh, Britain has taken Paris. No, Britain has lost Paris, rather. So that's well, that's going to be our target. We're going to sail in and hit Paris, because we're still at war with the French. And I want to expand in Europe. So let's disembark the army for now. I can't recruit any of the units I want. I probably want... I probably would like some cavalry. But we don't really get heavy cavalry. I don't think there's anything else I can spend my money on except let's do some rebuilding. Good. Our tech's good. We've got, we're going for line wedges to help give us the Reduce upkeep and next level naval building, next level port, and the next level um, political tech. Although I would very much like to start to get on my artillery tree, so maybe next turn. Ah, oh, my spy was meant to. I was meant to send my spy to go kill that chap. It's rather unfortunate. Oh, Spain, France is on the march. Oh, and they are attacking us. Um. But I like our odds. The first army would be easy to defeat. They'll fall back in good order. Second army would be a bit trickier because they've got these native bowmen and I don't have lots of cavalry. But let's fight it. Let's defend our... But yes, I very, I very much just want to knock. Which, to be honest, if I'm fighting the French in their home theatre, then their territories will either fall to me or they will fall into piracy and ruin. So I don't know how... I don't know how all different it's going to be when it comes to actually, um, you know, do I do I not attack their colonies? Do I attack their colonies? I think I just fundamentally do. One gun. Wowzers. But the core of our defence has to be these uh, has to be these line infantry units because they've got that firepower edge so let's put you let's put this unit back here so this is our left flank okay let's throw throw down let's get ready to deploy these guys on our right pikes in the center what's left of them very elite pikes um Let's put my rangers out on this flank as well. Maybe garrison this building. 
Um, a unit of reserves, probably somewhere over here. Uh, six cavalry. That's <laughs> so they've got the main guy, the trumpeter, and four troopers. And my general in the centre. Okay. Deploy. First things first. Is to do something like this. Obviously the uh, deployment went wrong. I've still not practiced that technique that someone told me about. About changing, messing with formations and stuff. Um, it's just so... Kind of, this is just more of a habit than anything at the minute. So... So deployment's going to be a bit dodgy through these stacks. I could put my rangers back here, but I'm concerned that uh, they would just shoot the backs of my own men. I don't know, maybe the Farlock Arm citizenry. No, they're too big. They just stay out of trouble. Maybe this this line infantry unit. So yeah, this guy's going to be pretty useless. I mean, go after the general's bodyguard. If it's just one gun. It's missed. Oh, he's serpentining. So I'll run my troops because it looks like if he's going to come over here, I want my guys in position to do some to get some pot shots. But so at least my troops have bayonets and fire by rank. Let's run these guys just to make sure they don't get into too good of a position. Okay, so here's the concerning bit. They're actually bringing in some decent line infantry. Two general's bodyguard. Oh, if I could. Let's get my gunners just to focus on. Get into position. Go. We've got our first shots. Colonial militia shaken, but I want to see if we can shoot their general off the t both of these generals off their horses. That's one. Suicidal generals. Gotta love them. Go on, Rangers. Use your accurate fire. Neither of them. Oh no, got one of them. Good stuff. Maybe even the other. I don't know if it will show us the... Let's stick to having them like this, because I'm concerned these guys might smash this flank. Put up on this flank. Actually, let's get my guns just to start. Kind of shot the centre of their line. So the, the continuous shots from the militia will knock down their... will reduce their morale. Then when the vault and the fire by rank and the volley fire comes in from my Hessian line infantry, it will smash their morale over and over and over and over. So it's their it's their native bows I'm most concerned about. Which at least I think are move that they're moving in sneaky mode, so they're not too much of a worry. bit hill. That's enough. Maybe I'll get some crossfire on these guys. Aha! Let's get my general over here. It's the best thing he'll be able to do, I think. There's the other native bow auxiliary. At least these guys will be against three 
ideally units of infantry. This militia is getting shredded. There's going to be a morale route. Of the room. Oh no, they just about managed to stop it from being a chain, chain route. I'm losing some of my general. Those are pretty darn good. Turn off fire at will, and let's get my general in. Get him past my line. Charge. Of course my general's threatened, I want to screw people up. You can shoot at those guys, although I don't she did really good against them. Okay, go through. Go through, you guys will have reloaded. Fire at will. You guys halt fire. Obviously, he died in the first charge. <laughs> the, the, the generals of this army are. You might as well just keep firing, keep fighting them. Clonium militia, probably going to win that fight. Oh, I want to try to get them away. More native bows. Me. Put these guys like this, fall them back. Then I need to roll up. I need to roll up one of these flanks. come back so just run straight into them. It's them gone. It should be deeply concerned. You better go for that unit, Hessian line infantry, because right now you've got a very good flanking shot. Okay, avoid. I know I charged you in. Fine. If they're chasing after you, go after them. Even better if they were out. Good. Slaughter them. Okay, here come more native bows. Canister kind of shot. It should be a bit unlucky because they're against lots of colonial line, so I've got to put out lots of firepower. Yep, there goes the general's bodyguard. I think it's probably my guys shooting them with a bit of friendly fire. Good, their guys are shattered. Push up this flank then. Mm, yeah. Native bow auxiliary don't like what's happening. Ok, 
Okay, so let's look, then now's the test if they've researched fire by rank yet. Not like it. Good stuff. Good, so you start picking apart the line of troop two. Colonial militia were hiding. Cheeky little scamps. Let's turn fire will from the ruins. I think they're just about tall enough to not kill too many of their own men. Good, the 33rd Regiment of Foot destroyed. Actually, no, don't go too far forward. I want you to draw the bows into the fire, right to the um, mast firepower of my infantry. Yep, you're in poor spirits. One for one, you'll beat my militia, but I've got a crap ton of them. These men are enjoying their company very much. Could be, could be about to see a mass rout. Oh, I lost one of my cavalrymen. I got shot just minding his own business. Who are you shooting at? Good, you are shooting at the native bows at least. So you've got this red, the 9th regiment is wavering. Fall, you devils, fall! Else is falling back. Oh, that, that unit was hidden, was it? Oh, native bows are wavering. Constant withering fire of the riflemen. I think we're still. Do we still count as losing? We are winning slightly. Colonial line infantry also has an angle. Oh, mess around on the left. Run them in. So the cavalry to engage the colonial militia. Yep, my rangers are now routing, which is or wavering, which is understandable. Fall our line a little bit. Doesn't need to be too drastic. Oh, Hessian lines come back, so let's pivot you guys to engage them. Uh, um, let's deploy some colonial militia to also picket them. Go on, 4th Regiment. Make ready. Aim. Fire! Devastating volleys. Yeah, the 1st Regiment of militia is routing. Kill this guy in his halberd. Or pike. His pike. So it's just this uh, Hessian line. Yep, they're currently wavering, but soon sheer firepower will bring home the bacon. And this line infantry getting involved as well. So you're willing slightly for now, but you will be very unhappy when you're fired upon from the flank. Demon 
kill that many men, but it's just the morale effect of being on their flank. They've got a bit of a death laid from units to their front, but to their side there is no escape. But it's a nice victory and a maintaining of our colonial position. Um, I'm not sure whether we're going to drive on to the other territory yet. But they, we killed 2,000 of theirs and lost 300 of ours, so we're in quite a good place. So there goes Prussia. Come on, Poland. I want you to do well. I want to make peace with Poland. I mean, they're, they, I, don't, I can't remember why they don't like us. You require on the march. Hopefully they'll go knock out the last Maratha territory. One thing I might do actually, I'm feeling pretty reasonably safe with the Cherokee. I mean, sooner or later I'm going to have to build walls in Charleston and use that as kind of my military centre in the south. But I think I'm, meh. I think I'm. T it's tempting to go after Louisiana. But no, it's, that's almost too much of an expansion of my remit going into this campaign. I don't want to focus. I don't want to push. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations Pow! here Damn. will increase your nation's export capacity. Imp so soon the pirates are going to have to be dealt with because they are now because like now I have colonial possessions. They're starting to target me, the swines. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's recruit a new general. Peyton Hawthorne. Awesome. Let's build the next level. Garrison, let's build some basic roads. Upgrade the plantation and upgrade the port. Let's get this region cooking. Don't bother upgrading this because it's just asking to be raided. Um, do you need roads? You can get roads. Yeah. How much is the farm? 500. Roads are better in the long run. The better, the earlier you get them, the more value they are. They add. Clearances and peasant farms. Oh, the Marathas have stopped trade. Um, you, okay, I'm not, okay, I need to recruit. Next turn, I need to recruit stuff for these guys. For this army to send over the, over the Atlantic. So we lost our general. Crew, another unit of, unit of Hessian Lion. Our research is going okay. Um, okay, Poland, let's try again. Quest Peace, Quest Alliance, and Trade. Actually, they're allied with France, so I doubt they're going to like it. Maybe not Alliance, but Peace and Money. No, not Maine. What about this? Peace, trade, and I'll give you the Leeward Islands. Because the Leeward Islands is not... It's, it's not a great territory, it's just one sugar mill, and I don't think it's even... It's a high yield, but the Windward Islands is more valuable. Three, yeah, 300 a turn. So I think just to su just to support Poland in a campaign that never usually happens in a, in a in a way that never normally happens, I want to do this. No, not alliance. Trade. There's a trade getting alliance. Why not? No. Peace. Trade. Ah, oh, I'm not going to give you a good territory. No. What about just... No, not Alliance. What about just Peace and Trade? Nope. Not giving you Maine. That's all there is to it. God damn it. Even they don't want the, my bad territories. Um, okay, cool. Let's hit end turn. There goes my Priest. France is gathering their armies again.
Good. The United Provinces are keeping our trade lanes open for us. Which is lovely. Um. See, I, I want... I want Prussia to survive. I want um, Poland to survive, but I don't want to give them military tech. That's one thing I won't give them. Okay, I'm not so sure I like that. Just, to be honest, I do just need to be careful of the Cherokee in general. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct. Okay, so this army down here. I mean, another unit of cavalry would be good. Let's get some colonial light, and then let's get a unit of Royal Worcester Regiment. Make them a bit more doting, colon easy. Upgrade the church school. Yeah, it's just they've got these armies rolling around. And they're unhappy that I'll have this. They're unhappy, or well, they will be unhappy I have this region. So. It might be tempting to actually pull Noel Croft back to here. And any further orders? And build a fort. That might be the safer position to administer this territory. Because <laughs> then I can draw them into a fort battle. I can kill lots of them then. Um, but I would also need more troops in mainland US which I don't currently have good so you're recruited to be honest you're damn near done move on then good and turn Oh, they're coming out to attack us. See, they've replenished a bit, but we've got... we got a buckload of troops. Um, but, looking at the timer, that would take me pretty far over my um, my rough term time. My rough uh, part time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for even more adventures in Brazil. Cheers, guys. Well, <laughs> probably not modern-day Brazil, but, you yeah, know, that part of the world. Right here. Cheers, guys.